Yes, yeah. Good morning, you. I'm good morning. And I was just texting this dude, and I, and I'm like, okay, no, it's not him. My mind was just like, okay, you on the wrong, you on the wrong line, dude. Um, bring it back. You call like like the rabbi said, you pull out the wrong cabinet. Yeah, you know, like on the old time switchboards, I pull out, the, plug that shit back in, plug out the other one. <laughs> you got your lines crisscrossed, big man. Yep. And I had to catch on to it myself. It's fucked up. Out here with these bugs making all this noise that they're so shiny. <laughs> it's so shiny. It's it's sunny. It's like you're talking about jewels or something. Dude, it be getting, it gets cool at night time. Really cool. I mean, we only in goddamn August, my friend. What? Yeah, night. Dang, what does November look like? Holy crap. I'm not even trying to think that far. I don't even think I can. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just looking at September. How is it going to be next month? Like, is it going to be 10 degrees less? How is this shit going to work out, bro? Like, what? I'm going to have to light a fire somewhere in this wood. I don't know how. how you need to get a fireplace. <laughs> Something. Well, we have a fireplace, right? In the inside of the house, but not, it's not in the out. It don't even reach the basement. It's just on the second floor is where you put the wood and you get the heat. If you're in the bedrooms upstairs, you ain't feeling that motherfucker. Uh, she got the other so, two fireplaces, does, though. The other does two. The house, um, does the house have heat? Well, yeah. Okay. I think so. so <laughs> let me not say that too boldly. So let me not. Let me. Let, I'm erasing <laughs> what I said. I'm not too sure. I know. I know you can raise <laughs> it up to. Assuming. You can I raise it. Assuming. I know you can raise the thing up to ninety, but I don't know what is it going. Is it going to start blowing out hot air, or is it going to blow out cold ninety? I don't know how that works. How does that work? <laughs> Cold like a clear. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was about to say. Like, if you don't have the AC part on it or something, I'm not. <laughs> if we don't have the furnace part, what is what comes out? Fan, 90 degree fan, and it ain't cool. <laughs> I'm not because it has a fan thing on this AC thing. It says fan, so it ain't blowing hot and it ain't blowing cold. It's just blowing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you. I don't know. Well, if you If I see that shit one snowflake, we definitely moving. I am gone. <laughs> I'm packing my shit in my car, and I'm I'm going down south, buddy. I want to reach where that jet stream part is that is cold and hot. I need to get to the hot side. Yeah, you need to go into the you, red. You want to see that sign that says the most southern point in the United States. And not that goddamn horny for that, no. That's a, that's we know Florida is sinking, and so that shit might not be there in a couple more years. You have to scuba dive to that bitch in like ten years. Yeah, you have to put on a scuba tank and go under to go see the northern, no, most southernest point of Florida. You see the sign sticking up out the water. Yeah, here <laughs> with a finger pointing down. You have to go down. Mother. Like when I was looking for the fucking North Pole, only only in my fifties I realized there's no land up there where Santa Claus was at. Is that fucking the North Pole in the middle of the ocean? It's in the middle of the fucking ocean. <laughs> I wonder if there's a buoy out there that says North Pole. Where was Santa Claus? How can he live up there? Probably. They got the whole story fucked up. Because <laughs> Santa Claus was in the North Pole, right? Uh-huh. I always thought there was land up there. I swear to you. I mean, I think everyone did. I'm sure there's a lot of motherfuckers still think that it's an ice cap on... Well, it's an ice cap on both sides. But there's no yeah. land under the other one. It's just ice. It's the ocean. That's crazy. I guess he was an Eskimo. Mm -hmm. And he had little midgets. Yo, I watch, I watch all the videos. I like, I really like that. That's the one. I was really good. Yeah, you see how that is? That was really good. I love that. Because it's confusing. And... We, I don't know what happened, but we ended up flipping the, um, I don't want to say microscope, but the lens on the microscope, we sort of like flipped it, looking in some other direction. But like the guy was saying, like that was, that was done purposely, right? Because it's like, if we can emasculate men 
then that means everyone rolls over a whole lot easier. If you have a whole country of men that are willing to fight, but you don't got men who are willing to fight anymore. Like, honestly, as a country, we could come put the flies. <laughs> we haven't had a war. No one's had to actually fight anything. Dude, you know? there's a general in the army walking around with a dress, my friend. I and then, like, he's young. This is an old motherfucker wearing old ladies' clothes right now. Uh, uh, he's a, I don't know what the fuck. This is a general or somebody. I know he had a whole bunch of stripes. When he was talking at Jiggity that he's a woman. And I'm like, this uh, is who's fighting for us today? Really? I don't know what reality is. I can't believe that reality flipped. It's it's not a reality. It's it's screwed up. Perspective got a whole bunch of lines in it. Right yeah, now. true. Like what he said. Like you can't even together. Not together. You don't even go together because real life is not And it only and works. Like you said, they never talk about female attacks. Yeah, that's why we're gonna get that. It only works for males. It don't work on yeah. anything. They don't even work for transgender. So we have a word with a definition that's straight down going to the male. It don't affect no other gender. And there is So not even a trans man get affected by it because he's a trans man, right? You got a trans woman and you got a trans man, right? That's a woman taming to a man. A trans man is a woman who thinks she's a man, right? Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, they don't get affected. Uh, I, I can't. I can't keep up. And back in the day, a woman who had a lot of mouth, you either would call her a butch or a lesbian. Because she was thinking that she was a man now, so you would change her whole sexual orientation. Yeah, because... A woman never used to scream. Well then, I mean, according to what, like, how he's putting it, you didn't have, to, right? If you had a, if you had right, a man right. in your life, right, right, it was disrespectful. It was always right? disrespectful. Didn't, yeah, you didn't have to because he took care of that shit. If something happened, the woman didn't have to get angry. It's he true. Took care of it. it didn't matter if she had a husband or not. Somebody else would have spoke up. Today you don't right. have that. You, you, you don't, don't dare speak up for that woman. You got might have get beat up by her and the thief. <laughs> it's right. like let me get robbed, motherfucker. Don't come defend me. You're like what? You just told me to back off and let the robber rob you. Got it. Mm -hmm. I got it. No problem. That's, that's how it will be today. Like the motherfucker don't want you. To, don't want no help. Like I'm just gonna walk by. Mind my business. Mind my. You can't. Is it hard to defend a woman today? So sad. So, yeah. And and you can't even feel sad for a motherfucker because you got to give him a trophy, so you can't feel sad. Because <laughs> you, you, if you feel sad for a person, you mean somehow you're calling him weak. I was wondering. Yeah, it, it's... The mentality can flip around so much today that... It's confusing. It is what it is, but I have no interest in doing that. So I'm going to think the way I think. <laughs> and let everyone else think the way they want to think. Well, I have no intention of changing. Because it's just stupid. I think it is. We need the rainbow back. Yeah, we need to take the whole rainbow back and give them pink. That's it. Pink in itself got a rainbow, right? Let's just use that spectrum. You can go from light pink to dark pink. Yeah. You can't step in the purples and you can't step in the reds. Just pink. And and there's a whole spectrum of pink. You choose all the colors within pink. You didn't have to go you didn't have to take the whole fucking rainbow. There's a, that's always talking about relationships and like, you know, the same type of conversation about masculinity and femininity. And I love listening to him talk because he makes so much sense. I mean, 
it can be a little bit, you know, Pollyanna, right? No, nobody's going to have a perfect relationship. But if a man is in his masculine in a healthy way, then it allows a woman to be in her femininity in a healthy way. Right? If, if, if one is off, then people have to keep, like, adjusting, right? So if there's not enough masculinity, then the woman has to take over that. And no woman wants to take over that, but you have no choice because that's what you have to do. I and what? so really, it's what's allowed, you know? Like, if, if, if that relationship allows you to be in your full world, then of course you don't got to be in that relationship. But, but yeah, that's very true. And a woman also has a lot to do with how allowing a man to feel masculine and not taking that away from him. You know, it's like, it's on both sides. Each side allows the other to be their best self. And when you don't do your role, we don't take care of your responsibilities within your gender, then it'll make it force the other person to have to compensate. And that's not a good thing. Yeah. And, you know, it's not, it's not that I have a problem with a woman having a job or, like, you know, basic shit like that. But that has nothing to do with taking a man's masculinity away. Right, I was going to say that has, it's, it's when you're talking about the characters. Right. You know, and the way women approach men and talk to men and dismiss men. And that's the problem, you know? And so each side affects the other. If one says, fuck it, then of course the other side is going to be like, fuck it too. <laughs> right? And then it's all fucked up. There are no good relationships. And that's not good. It's like the black girl said, I, I, I saw my wife too, be just, you could have an unworking relationship, working relationship. And that's no different yes. that you're going to a job that you don't like. Right? You see what I'm saying? You don't like right. the job, it's a relationship, but you go there and you do and you function accordingly mm -hmm. until you punch right. out. And right. you can do that with any relationship. It's a, it's a job and it, you know what you got to do. So then I sent her another, I sent her a video this morning because I couldn't pass up the chance. There's this dude, he's wearing sunglasses. He's like, his dog don't ask for food. His dog don't ask for water. His dog don't ask for harassment. Um, his dog don't ask to be thrown the ball. You know what I'm saying? He don't ask for showers. So why does he have to ask for food and sex? You know what you got to do. You do it for the dog and he don't talk. But somehow you know you wake up and you give him food every morning. Right. And you and you could tell him good morning, and you talk to him, and you, and you caress him, and everything. And don't tell him he don't bark back, cause that's what the only thing he can do when you do that. Ah, yeah, he go, he bark at you, bitches. Oh, he's not talking to you. Like this orange cat, if you caress the cat by the third stroke, he's latching onto your arm and biting you, bro. The other day he made me jump. He's on the kitchen. Uh, he's on this um, on a on a small table. Stood up, mm -hmm. so I caressed him, and I'm like, okay, he's coming over to rub his body against me like normal. No, he came over and just bit the fuck out of me on my chest. And I'm like, this motherfucker. Oh wow! <laughs> he bites people, cats, bro. Man. Yeah, cats are funny animals, man. I, that's why I can't fuck with cats. I can't. Like that I, fucker is I crazy. Need know, I need to know. I need to see you coming. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just, you think everything's fine, 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 and then I'm, <laughs> like, what happened? Yeah, he, 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 he fooled. Fun. I was laughing, I was like, you son of a bitch, you fooled me. I thought you was coming to rub your body again. That bitch came They're straight right. at me, and then at the last minute, he yank, and I see him wow. open his mouth and bit me. I'm like, this motherfucker, he is, he, yeah. he, he, well, that's, he like, he, this is what he teaches you, he tells you he loves you, he bites you. Wow. Like, love me <laughs> love, man. <laughs> yeah, Please. and that's what it says on the internet, and the, and the shit that they bring you dead animals and stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. I told you he brought a rabbit already. Uh huh. Fucking killed the rabbit. He brought him in nice and fresh for you. Yeah, he was still soft. It wasn't a carcass yet. It was a carcass wow. by the morning when she went and looked in the box. That fucker was stiff. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, but he's he's. Yeah, I think he's the happiest one here. He comes in, he comes out. 
he, he gets his shit. He hangs out outside. I used to come waking up in the middle of the night trying to get him in. I don't do that no more. I wake up in the morning and let him in. Right. He'd be waiting. But he's a cool yeah. cat. He's a cool cat. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully it don't snow. Just hopefully. Yeah, yeah I don't... Well, I, think you're, I think you're good for a while. Hopefully. At least it's not. At least yeah. it's not. I can't promise cold, but... You know we are month number eight, right? Yeah, the yeah just started. We're on eight. Wow, that is true. It's only Dang. we done passed. We done went up the hill. We already coming down the fucking hill. Coming down. Yeah. Coming down. And another blinker we're gonna yeah, be saying. Like, dude, mm. I have to go back in like two weeks. It's already there, dude. It's like what boom. The fuck? Yo, I'm really sad about going back. I'm really, I am really, I mean, I thought about it yesterday, I got teary. I'm like, I don't want to leave. I don't want to go back. Yeah. Misery. You're going to start looking at that fine print again. <laughs> yeah, and then like, you know, jeez, I don't want to give this up. Let's go back to the fucking ugly ass South Bronx. Jeez. Honestly. And it's going to be cold. Nah, it won't be cold. Ooh. Not yet? Nah, nah. Even when I leave, it'll just start to turn where you need a jacket. Yeah, like that, because I'm leaving like October 11th. So mm -hmm. by then, yeah, you're going to start needing a jacket, maybe. What's up with We're going to still be in the 60s, even. You got to get that principal to sign you off while you walk in. Yo, motherfucker, I need to go back to my vacation thingy I had going yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. This is torture. Uh, torture. Yeah, you know how that feels, right? Yeah, I know. Boom. Here's the papers. You want, you want to just sign right there and see you? <laughs> I wish. I wish it was that easy. It is that easy. It is not because they'll be like, yeah, you can do that if you like. This will get like 20% of your pension cut off. Like, wait, no. Not for a few days, right? Yes, for a few days. Wow. Literally, if I was one day off, they would take 20% off my pension. <laughs> one day. You're, oh, yeah, you told me you don't use fingerprints or eyeballs, so you're using a card. You just need somebody to punch that shit for you, girl. Yeah, well, you know, it's a new principle, so I don't got no clout. <laughs> yeah. And, and now we have a new, new principle, I told you, so now I don't even know who the hell that is. Did she bring her second in command with her or what? No, 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 and no she. She's gone now. There's oh. another new one. Do they get to bring their second, or do they have to take the assistant as that's, a second? That's a good question. I mean, I'd imagine because there is a vacancy for an assistant principal, they could bring that up. Wow. You could right. fire that like motherfucker. We, it's not like we have two assistant principals. We did, but because the lady left also with him, now there's a, 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 a vacancy. So Good. I'm imagining that she could bring her own. Wow. Or rather he. Or rather he could bring his own. That's a fucked up message too at the end of the day. If you if you have the two seats empty and that first one gets to pick the second one and he don't uh -huh. pick the person who is next to go up and bring another uh -huh. motherfucker from the outside in, uh -huh. that's a really fucked up message. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they would do that. Because and then they're both assistant principals, so they're on the same level. But but the one who's already there knows the school, so she already automatically has like home address, right? So for certain she's things. An awesome person for certain that, things. Yeah, like she's so awesome that like I don't think I think they they'll just be very grateful to have because she's really good. Mm. Yeah, she's really good. She's 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 the best person to have been left behind of all three of them. She's the best. You refer like to the two that got fired. Yeah, no, they're the worst of it. But she's the best. Because she's she's intelligent, she's very strategic and, and organized and fair and you can talk to her. Like she's she's fantastic. She's great. But at least in the schools you get to climb the ladder. In most places Well, there's only one there's only one step up and that's perfect. Yeah. I mean, unless you want to leave school. And superintendent. Go superintendent. Yeah. yeah. Superintendent. Or, or you want to get into, like, the offices and do something. Well, that's away from the kids. 
when you go to superintendent, you'd completely done left the kids alone. You you dealing more with the administrative oh, yeah. area. You dealing yeah, with all administration. Yeah, right? you dealing with all the people. Now. You're in the district office, all adults. You're going into schools and meeting with adults. So yeah, you're like having principal meetings all adults. So there's only, really no interaction. With you. They're only looking at um pie charts, <laughs> basically. Basically, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and if one one pie chart is doing too bad, he got to go pay that motherfucker a visit because that means the school is doing bad. Right, and if they have an event, you know, they'll show up just to like, you know, say a few words and you know, show their support. Yeah, I remember when but superintendents come in, the whole crazy. school, the whole school changes all of a sudden. It's of a whole other face. Everyone's on their best behavior. Yeah, spotless, it's clean. Oh and yeah, the halls but are empty. Every person's cleaning their classroom, putting new stuff up, bullets and boards are beautiful, oh yeah. That happens in jail too, huh? Really? Yeah. Wow. Because the like warden, the coming. You, got the, <laughs> you got the lieutenant, right? That's the highest of the guards. Okay. And then you got the warden. He's the one who's uh -huh. above all the guards. Right, right. He's Fine. like the superintendent. Uh, right. And then he has a guy that's over him. <laughs> That comes, the ones who's over all the prisons. Right. Yeah, that's the Kokorote. When he comes, they try to put a facelift. And that's when we act the worst. So they try to keep us out the picture. Of course. That's yeah. The kids. You don't get when to like, speak to that guy. You call, you call the classroom next door mm -hmm. if, you're getting, if you're getting observed. Like, can you take Johnny? Because he's a little fucker. <laughs> and then. He's going to fuck up my shit. Please take my yeah. kids. Yeah. And Puerto Rico is crazy. Then you. Then you went to put the lady in. That's when they put away the boy. She was the bitch who was over all the prisons. And they understood us in the sense that we can't disrespect women. So she got, she kind of fucked up the association really bad. Right. So she knew she could get away with Yeah. Stuff. And then she walked around knowing that it, no, she's never going to get hurt. Yeah. So, well, uh, boy, she fucked it all up. We should have done the same thing we did to guys to her because she was in the guy's chair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we were still in the modern days. In the, I mean, the old Asian ways. In the old, old fashioned days. Yeah. And that's, that's what killed us when they put So, well, uh, boy in there. Yeah, our leaders became respectful to her. Mm -hmm. They did not treat her as a man. They treated her as a woman. And she used that to her best defense and was able to dismantle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah she came in and dismantled, dismantled shit that was going on for like three decades. She took it all apart in one year. But that's how it works. Yeah, and masculinity, you can't take it away. I don't know. I, I You got the she, what was it? Um, Ah, that fucking cartoon where there was all women in the tribe and they were the, they, they, they didn't like, use, they used men. I don't know what the hell they used men for because they didn't really use men, I guess. You know, from the Amazon, these she women, I want to say she, she something. Is, But that story I've been told before. I know you know what I'm talking about. The story of the Amazon women or the uh -huh. women, the women tribe that was all women. Right. They made everything. I mean, basically, basically that's where uh, Wonder Woman came from. Mm. Like that's the story of Wonder Woman. If you if you watch the first one the, of the new one, it tells the backstory of Wonder Woman, and she came from that from that tribe. Hey, in the of I, I know in the so cartoons. Like the island of Lesbos or some shit. In the cartoons, she had the lasso. In the real movie, uh, in the real human people, because she's played as a human too on TV in the sitcom back in the day. Yeah. When she yeah. used to spin around and it had the spark and then she turns yeah. into Wonder Woman. Yeah, uh, she was beautiful. Well, uh, Linda Carter. 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 Linda Carter, Linda that was Carter. her. Yeah, Linda Carter. Um, she was one of the prettiest women in her time too. Yeah, she was beautiful. But um, she ever flew the fucking invisible plane? Wonder Woman has an invisible plane. Oh, I had no idea. Oh, yeah. You go, go Google that shit. 
you, you, you oh, go, yeah. oh yeah, in the cartoon she flies in the invisible plane, but in the Wonder Woman right. show, I never seen her use her fucking um invisible plane. Right. Ba Batman had a cape. You saw the video I showed him about Batman. He said Batman was a conservative. <laughs> he, he was a rich, right. rich millionaire beating up street thugs. He never fucking went after the corporates. <laughs> the Hold co on, I didn't. I don't think I got that one. Yeah, the Batman, Batman, <laughs> he said, fuck Batman. That's the one I put, I said, fuck Batman. The dude was breaking down Batman. Batman is a rich guy living in a fucking cave fighting street thugs. How come he not fighting the corporations for who he had to go after? Nope. He was always beating up thugs on the corners. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see that. I don't know where that is. I got a whole collection in there. That was that, I, I don't remember, I, that's like a day ago, dude. So I've been sending you a bunch of them lately. Yeah, no, and I've, and I've seen all of them. We got to wake up, bro. And I think this is the year we're going to wake up, we're going to see it in the voting. You should put a, um, one of them eye bubbles on her belly. Make her look fat. Damn, I heard that shit over here. I heard when you took the picture. You heard me? Yeah. All in Spanish, oh, yeah. huh? <laughs> yeah. Can you send me a photo? A photo, I'm not sure. No, she said all, all of it was in Spanish. Yeah. I'm like, okay, thank you. I got that. <laughs> and you, yeah, you trying your hardest not to even say see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just kind of happens automatically, but honestly, I feel like right now I've been practicing more listening. Because I have a hard time sometimes here. I don't have that problem in other countries. But for some reason here, there are some people that I'm like, what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> so, yeah, like some, some, they, wow, they do, they do some choppy choppy to the language, boys. So I gotta yeah. like really listen hard. So now at this point, I feel like I'm trying to get, to get that, the hang of that, right? It's more I told you. Better. I told you, there's more ghetto Spanish spoken on that island than oh, anything shit. else. But you know, something you told me really helped. It really did. Because I was like in conflict. Because I'm like, well, I guess the goal is to sound like everyone else. And I told you, I was like, you know, I, I, if I don't sound like everyone else, they're just going to make fun of me. And they were like, and you were like, you know, like if I speak like correct Spanish, blah, blah. And you were like, no, they'll just think you're educated. And I was like, oh, that's not so bad. I guess I can live with that. And because you have to choose. Like, which way am I going? Am I trying to speak correct Spanish or am I trying to fit in? And that's a struggle. <laughs> the island? But if I'm trying to fit in, then I'm going to be fucking chopping some shit up. When you understand that the island, like 70% of the island speak Hebado shit, bro. They don't even know how to write it. I mean, some people are fine, but it's interesting because I was, it's, my, my husband and I were talking about this yesterday, and he was like, he was like, he's like, look, I grew up in a, in a household where everyone spoke Spanish. Like, his mom speaks fluent Spanish and spoke to him and his father, too. Okay, so he's doing better. He doesn't, he doesn't speak fluent, but he understands it. So he's like, but the Spanish that they spoke, and they were from the island. It's so much different than the Spanish that they speak here today. He was like, this shit almost sounds Dominican. Like that <laughs> He was like, it's like that sing-songy shit. He was like, we never did that before. <laughs> and then I was thinking about it, and I was like, you know, now that you say that, it's true. Because when I think back on my grandmother, and people that I heard speaking Spanish when I was a kid, it's different than the Spanish you hear. Yeah. 
day in Puerto Rico. It does sound. He's like it has like a Dominican twang to it. Like like have they been that much of an influence on the island? Because he was like we were never so sing songy before. Yeah, well, welcome to put New Puerto Rico, bro. Yeah, for real, I'm like you know that shit is true. And it's not. You think about the way people spoke Spanish back in the day to the way if you came here today, it's different. It's ghetto, bro. Right, and that's why I think I have such a hard time understanding it because I'm like. It's not that. You know what it is? Also, you got a whole bunch of shit playing out there. Every little city got their own sort of little dialectish yeah. thing little going swing. on. Go yeah. Like, yeah. It's true, it's true, it's true. So then you got to watch the areas where you in to use different words for different meanings themselves, yeah. bro. They yeah. fucked it all up on the island. You can go in areas and you're not going to understand what they're saying at all. Wow. It's like, you know, Jamaicans are speaking English, right? 100% right. English. But when right. they get to talking among them, them fuckers chop up the words all over the place. Yeah, it's true. And you don't have a, if you don't know. You got to be with them motherfuckers to get it. Like they, it sounds like they're speaking another language. Yes. Because Jamaicans do speak English 100%. It's that these guys, they have a problem with the T, I think it is. And they cut up words like crazy, worse than black folks in America. And if you're not in that ghetto that they're from, you're not going to, they got different words like that in, in the same Jamaica. Right. These guys are making up words every day, bro. That's, so, that's um, the truth. And that's the same thing yeah, in Puerto Rico. Yeah, we were having this conversation yesterday. He's like, my mom doesn't speak like that. Does your mother speak like that? Like, no. <laughs> 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 He's like, I don't know. Sounds like a, an influence from someplace else, because he's like, nobody I knew spoke like that. Uh. I think that's the rap music did that in itself. Yeah, that's another thing. Yeah. I think it's something that had a big influence on that too. Because that brings your swagger in there. And they talk different right. in different places, dude. Wow. Some guys you they hear do. them talking, and I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck are you saying? You, they you, do. you sound like a parakeet, bro. Mm -hmm. I know. It takes time to adjust to all that shit. I don't think it's like that in other countries. In other countries, they're all the same. Sin alcohol. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't drink. So you just want a pineapple juice. Ah, coconut. Okay, that's the other ingredient. Rum. So the price, is it very different from each other or is it just a dollar difference when they shoot their own? So it's interesting about what's cheap and expensive here. Food's expensive, but because I'm used to some place that where food was extremely expensive, it's not that big of a shock. But weed is cheap here, which is interesting. Because they're growing um, it everywhere. That tells you yeah, that. Yeah, weed is mad cheap. That's $3.5 or $14. Like, what? I think that's more of an agriculture there right now than anything else. Yeah, it's amazing. For it to be that um, cheap? For it to be that cheap, it must be grown in very big much fields out there as an agricultural pro product. And even, like, when I got my gummies, like, they were on sale. A 60% sale. So I got 30 gummies for $10. Yeah, something is... That's what they're saying. It's, 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 five milligrams. It, this, that shit is all, um, it's very, uh, um, it's cluttered. There's a lot of people out there. It's a lot of shit going on with the fucking weed out there. Because it all starts it with the weed. Like, it seems like everyone has a card. Because so. <laughs> it's not legal. You can only get it medically, but it seems like everyone has one. And I'm telling you, I've, I've, I've learned that they, the people who get the cards, they become into dealers themselves because now they can get for the ones who don't want to get the card. It's a crazy world out there right now, but I know they got it as an agricultural product right now. It's it's being grown on the island. And like when, you, when I went, like yesterday we went, oh man, we went to this area that I had not been to before. It's called... Um, Distrito T-Mobile, so they have like a big, like a little, like a, a big outdoor area, it's all these restaurants, and it has a beautiful movie theater, like they have like a restaurant in the movie theater, they like bring food to you mm. at your seat, and 
And when you go downstairs, it's like a it's like a festival environment because it's all these restaurants are like in a circle, and in the middle there's all these there's all these um video screens and uh, it's it's a beautiful place, it's really pretty. And it's interesting, movies are cheap. Oh well. Yeah, cheaper than New York anyway, like $7, $8. Yeah, because in America... And then like, popcorn? Popcorn in the soda is like $7. And back in Connecticut, that's just 12 bucks. Wow. That's, yeah, because in the movies, yeah. everything is expensive. Popcorn usually costs like $10 a tub. Mm-hmm. But not here. You get a whole combo for $7. Because when I last it's went great. to the movies, I remember spending twenty something, something, something dollars. Right, like if you have a family, like you got three kids and two adults, and you're spending a hundred bucks at the movie. Yeah, that's why I was to say a hundred dollars. Like that's Easy. disgusting. That is disgusting. I mean, come on. And somebody still you didn't get exactly what they wanted. Yeah. To a movie. That's just sad. But I'm glad it went streaming because streaming now allows you to. Right. Um, Allows right. you to watch anything in your own fucking living room. Exactly. So yeah, at least at least that because that's just effed up. I keep seeing this thing about Omega. Omega? Yeah, Elon Musk. What's that? Elon Musk is um. Remember, right now, Elon Musk has one of the most largest websites. When you think of Google, you got to now today put Facebook, Twitter, uh-huh. YouTube. Uh-huh. Yeah, and when it comes to the amount of people that are in there. So he, he's trying to do one of them things like China's doing, but I'm sure he's trying to do it even better. That he's calling it the, you thought the internet was the thing. This is going to be the thing. And it's all to do with the, the, the brain. And Remember, he has people with chips in their heads right now. Right, that Neuralink shit. It's crazy. And every time I see him, you know what I hate the most about him? Elon Musk will tell you straight up no on a lot of things. What do you mean? Like, like example. can we go solar? 100% solar. He'll tell you no, we can't do that. Um, should we go be going to Mars? Then he'll tell you definitely yes. But Nobody can't tell you that. You see what I'm saying? It should always be answered in that form. Because then it's like if you ask a motherfucker, do you know where we came from? The answer is no. It's it's no. But no, you can speculate. All you but want. You don't have a, but you don't have a opinion. No, you don't. And then when somebody asks you, should we go solo? And you say no without giving the opportunity of... We could if we do this, maybe, at least. You know, that should be one of the replies, not just straight up no. And he has a lot of no's. And when he was thinking of going up into space with a rocket that would land, I bet you many people told him no. Of course. But then here we are. I wouldn't think he'd be a... He, Knowing what he had to go through, I don't see why he says no to things. Maybe he just doesn't want to go in that direction, so he's like, well, I'm, I'm a person of influence in this world. If I say no, maybe people will look in the other direction, because I don't want to go in that way. That's the way I feel about it. Yeah. He's protecting okay. his own interests all the time. Exactly. Right. It's not, it's not that he really doesn't think it can happen. Because people like him never think that things can't happen. They always think if we keep looking, we'll figure it out. Right, right. You know, that's just how he's built. And how can we do this? There has to be a way. There has to be a way. I will stop till I find it, right? But if you're just straight up saying no, you're not even giving it a possibility, that sounds like you don't want to find one. And you know that it's been working because mm-hmm. people right now are not even allowed to go 100% solar because it's against the law. Right. But if we change that law, I'm sure we could learn a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's great. From individual people I'm trying to save, it. you know, trying to save money. Just I really love the idea of, I mean, I don't know if I'm actually going to do it, but it's, it's a thought. I really like the idea of buying a piece of land, 
building a little tiny house on it, making that fucker solar, having a system, dressing my own shit. You know, just leave me on my little plot of land. I'm good. If so you make a house. little house and put Good most morning. of the property, the land on solar, I don't see how that can't power more and, and have some to power your fucking car and everything else that's around. You know, you put right. a little shed. Like, you know, we already know that this island goes through a lot of shit regarding electricity. The electric, right? The grid is a piece of shit. Yeah, it is. So then you cannot count on that. So then you have to think for yourself. You have to do for yourself. If they're not gonna take care of you, okay, fine. Then I will, I will hook myself up. The problem and is that you know sometimes they try to stop you along the way, like, oh no, you no. need to <clears throat> That's, oh, no. That, no, that's what I was going to tell you. Puerto Rico ain't like that. You've been in that type of environment. Puerto, they got people that do. When the Maria came, they learned that the whole city was stealing electricity because nobody does anything about it. And the money is so tight that anybody who comes, you can easily pay them off a couple of hundred dollars and let them go about their way, and they'll never bother you again. Right. Yeah, the city inspectors. In New York, I don't know how that works out. I know how, in Florida, if you know the right guy, you can get your shit passed all the time. Um, that That's the way it works here. I think that's everywhere. But if you know the right people, you can make sure. I happen. think in Puerto Rico, you got them, they'll offer you. I have even have cable man in Florida, like, yo, I got this special running on the side. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's great. What? You know. And you see that out there. You see people with a uniform telling you, hey, if you go this route with me, we can do it this way. And they, don't, right. they create their own little hustle out of it. Right. And, yeah, uh, man. I, I really think that that's the way to go. You know, because land, I've been looking just for the fuck of it. And land is really not that expensive. Like, I've been paying like 50, 75,000. You know, you got only one internet service on that island, right? It's called Claro. Liberty? That must be some new shit. Because on that island, yep. the biggest cable company is Claro. I think they cover the whole entire island. Yeah. No, all I have is internet. Since I have all the streaming uh, stuff, I don't have uh, cable. Uh, yeah, internet. Liberty is a, that's, it's that's a streaming service like Hulu. That's just the back home. That was just the same. It's about $80. Because internet is not a phone, and internet is not cable. Nope. And it ain't satellite either. <laughs> yeah, it ain't satellite either. It's internet. Mm -hmm. And to get internet, you have to jump onto what a ISP, a internet service provider, which is, you call it Liberty, or Liberty is like Hulu? I don't know. Liberty is a company. It gives you Wi-Fi. Yeah. Okay, that's a new one. Yeah, I have, I have, I have a router, and that's it. But I'm telling you, if you do, if you start digging real deep, you will realize that Claro is the is the biggest company. So when you say that, that means Liberty eats out for Claro. Well, yeah. It might it might be it might be like a subdivision. Sometimes it's all the same company. It's the mother company, it's the Claro. Yeah. <laughs> To make it look like they're giving you choices, but it's not a choice. Right, just like AT and T, Sprint, and you can't even say, it. and and maybe Verizon. Those are the that's that's all the phones you have right there. And everybody feeds up for that. Like even burner phones still use the same technology they have because it's their antennas. Right. Oh, so that you could say satellites. About what my first electric bill is. Uh, because we didn't go to the AC yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and I already know that I'm going to get a shocker in the AC one day. You don't get to turn the AC up because the dog is in there all the time, right? Right. So I'm not going to be her stopper. So yeah, I think it's on 24 7. So that's what I'm saying. And the worst part is. Um, it's central. So it's not even like you can shut off this AC but leave on that AC. No, it's just AC throughout the whole house. Yeah. So I already know that I'm going to get smacked 
with a big bill. I'm just waiting. What and number? Like, what number? Like, you know, what number you put it on? Huh? Twenty five. Oh, it's in. It's in uh, the. Uh, uh, okay, that's twenty five. Uh, well, seventy seven, but it don't feel like seventy seven. It feels cool. Yeah, you know the dog could handle a good 82, huh? Right? Because the AC here don't turn on. 26. Okay, 26 is 78. That's not bad. That's not a bad idea. I'll raise it when we're gone. I'll, I'll leave it on, but I'll just... I'll just I'll the, 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 what I learned is... If it's 90 degrees outside, let's say let's say if it's 96 degrees outside inside your house will be on a rule of thumb 10 degrees lower than outside. That's how it usually runs. So if okay. you if you know that today's going to be 90 degrees the hottest, then you might want to put your AC on 86, 84, so it don't ever make it to 90. But you know, if, it's, yeah, if you know it's 80 degrees outside, but then you know it's going to be about 70 inside, you don't need to have that motherfucker on, so you leave it on 80. Right. The only thing is that there are no screens. Like, the windows don't really... Like, I have to have a key to open the window. Holy fuck. Yeah, these, yeah, these, these things, like, you unlock them, and then they go to the side. They're not normal windows. You need a key to open your window? That's a fucking fortress. Yep. And that's how it is in Puerto Rico. They got a lot of security on these windows. Yes, they do. They got bars. <laughs> bars. Every fucking <laughs> way. Everybody got. Like, them guys, they got a. They don't. They're not liking I, um, iron. They got that shit all over the place. Everybody's house yep. got fucking burglars. All, everything is with bars, bro. They lock everything down. Everything. They love that metal shit, and they make designs out of it too. Oh yeah, I got what? Well, got big crates. Yeah, you like you don't ever see the two people with the same fence. Like it's always. A... Yeah, like like even in my apartment building, I I got a whole gate in front of my door. Yeah. Like I have a gate, a yeah. gated door, and then I open that, and if I wanted to, I could like put a padlock on. It. And wow. we have it. She gave it to us. The padlock that goes outside the door. Wow. And I'm like, wow. She was like, yeah, but nobody ever uses that. I was like, mm. God, that's crazy. So then my I question would be, yeah, but my question would be, why are you have it? Why are you even giving it to me if nobody ever uses it, you motherfucker? Right. He's like, well, you know, I just want to provide it to you. You know, it makes you feel safe. <laughs> I would be worried if you got me with all that. <laughs> And then you give me a whole nother padlock? Like, whoa, what's going on here? And my, and, and my windows are locked? <laughs> I never heard nobody say, I need a key to open up my window. That is yep. hilarious. And I would not have known that. It's just that the cleaning person who was going to clean... What was it? Oh, when we had that, that leak from the from the washing machine, mm. they came and she was like, oh, when I cleaned, I never had a chance to do the window, so I didn't have the key. You guys have the key. And we're like, Holy we shit. So then we showed her the key and then she opened the window. We're like, oh shit, we didn't even know that that was there. Wow. We had no idea. And that's how she washed the windows. She had to, and they're climbing outside. I was like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Forget it, forget it, forget it. <laughs> Not for all that, please. You're gonna fall out. Please stop this. Uh, wow. I never heard of that, but I know in Puerto Rico, I told you when my, my mom in her house, she had to go through gates, like plural. Yeah, it was one, two, four gates before she could get into her front door. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. And there's a lot of folks like that. When you go to people's houses, you see them opening up gates. It's just gates. It's yep. <laughs> Everybody, yep. a bunch of keys. Yeah, because I remember my grandmother, 
he had a little, <coughs> like a little bit of a front yard. He had a big backyard, but he had a little bit of a front yard. So we had like the regular wire fences, and that was locked, padlocked at night. Yeah. And then there was a big gate outside where the, what would you call that? You got a circumference and a pre-circumference. That's what your fence was, is the pre-circumference. And then you pass right. that, and then you reach to the, the fucking gate uh, by the door. the gate in front of the door. Yeah, and by the door. And then you got to the door. <laughs> and you usually have one on the door. Right. And that's yes. three gates you go into before you enter a house. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My mom is tripping. She even had one in her room. Whoa. The emergency Damn. one. That's that. That was, she called that her um safety room. Yeah, that's the bunker. Yeah. <laughs> Burglar bars in a room from the inside. Wow. That you locking oh yourself inside of a room so some wow. nobody can't reach to you. No, that fucker was crazy. My mom, she was. Yeah, I thought I was in prison. I went there. What was it like nine years ago? And I had to leave. I even left weed behind. I remember that too. There's a bag of weed stuck stashed in my room. Um, and she used to unplug everything, and that's we got. Wow. Uh, yeah, we got into it over the microwave because I kept putting on time, and she kept unplugging this motherfucker. And like, and then it start blinking. Yeah, again. that drives me insane, bro. <laughs> that's the first thing I do. I go to all the clocks and I make sure they start to work. Like most people that's don't do the one on the stove either, and the stove clock mm -hmm. works. You know, just put it right. on time, motherfucker. Why you have the thing running off for time? Right. And and they all work the same, and they all get programmed the same. You just has, has you hit the clock, and then you hit the one arrow. That's the hour. Then you press the clock again, and you hit the arrow. That's the minutes, and you hit the clock again. It's set, done. Microwave, same shit. All of them the same. There's no manual for that. That's how it's done. <laughs> so I always put them on time. I have a thing with that. That shit would drive me insane when I go there and I just see. Even if you put the microwave for a minute and you left it on three seconds, that would drive me insane. Mm -hmm. But just <laughs> put it back to zero, dude, or turn it off. I'm like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Walking away, leaving 15 minutes on the dial. Nah, man. I'm like, is that shit cooked? That's my first question. Yeah, because I never obey that. If I look in a package and it says, cook for three minutes, I know I got to put five. If it tells me cook for five minutes, I know I'm adding about nine minutes, bro, because you're not going right. to give me the right. It's Somehow it's not going to be right. And I don't want to sit down and then hit the middle and it's cold. Then I want to I want to throw the whole thing in the garbage. No. So I overcook it every time. I want to see that shit bubbling. Yeah. And I'm the kind of guy that would stand up in front of the microwave and watch it the whole entire time. You ever do that? Hello? Hello? Yeah. yeah. What? Do you ever stand in front of the microwave after you punch the minutes on it and just watch it and die because it's taking too long, but you still stay there and watch it? And it becomes like torture after a while. Mm -hmm. Of course. And you just sit there and take it. And you just wait. Yeah, watching it twirl around, bubbling. Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought I was the only winner. Nah, that was. Yeah, because I did that. I do that almost every time. I can't walk away. <laughs> walk away. Make a sound when it's ready. You don't right. gotta stand it. Then. I, they all beat the same. I don't like the sound. I always try to beat it one one second before the sound. All right. Oh yeah, me too. Me too. No, I I wait. I wait. I don't I don't want to hear it. I want to get down like two seconds. I take it out. Yeah, you <laughs> pop it, but you don't want it to go beep, so to beep, it. Yeah, beep. Yeah, I, I hate that because even if you if you open it on the first beat, it'll continue beeping until it's finished. Right, you can't stop the and three beats. It's gonna complete its, its little song. And they and all. I don't want to and I haven't met a microwave that don't do that. They all talk the same language. You saw the video I sent you with the lady. She said I decided to flip this motherfucker up on the side. Oh my god, that shit was funny. It caught me off guard, and then I kept. Big ass smile, yeah, that fucker had a big ass smile, big fucked up <laughs> smile. <laughs> He's like, finally, <laughs> finally. 
Somebody understood me. Around, to be. That's it. Thank so, goodness. No, she caught me off guard. She made me laugh at that motherfucker. She had me cracking up. She make funny videos. Can you, can you hear the water? No, I could hear wind earlier. No, I don't know if I should fight the waves today. Um, no, the, the, the old ladies are walking around. I told her that yesterday, you need to bring your dishes. You need to start doing some movement. And this use of taking your dishes to the kitchen as exercise. Get your ass up and carry your dishes on the ground. She's like Thomas. I wanted to she had like seven plates. I'm like, no, no, wow. no, 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 no. You need to get up on every dinner and every breakfast and carry your plate to the kitchen. I don't need you to wash it. I'm telling you, man. With both of them doing stuff like that, you're so lucky you don't have any blood issues. Huh? I said with both of them doing stuff like that, plates and cups, and you're lucky you don't got a blood issue. Thank you. Well, God. it's only a matter of time. Well, hopefully not. Yeah, because you know those things just come out of the natural air. <laughs> it seems like they just come out of the natural air. Like somehow, like if it's too damp, you will have some sort of bug naturally. Like where did they come from? Who knows, but they come. It's like, it's like shit. As okay. soon as the shit hits the ground, there are flies in. And you're like, where did they even come from? Well, then we might think that flies are the top of the chain. Because if you think about it, if you put something on the table, it's supposed to rot all the way till maggots come to it, especially meat. If you leave a piece of meat, it's, you look at it, and maybe no flies don't even touch this motherfucker, but it still have maggots on it at the end of the day. Where did it come from? Are they residing in the meat? That's a very interesting question, because it's almost like they come from within. From within, it's not from on the outside. And no. I hear pe people will say that fly land on it. No, you can put a piece of fucking pork and and leave it in the sun, covered up in a glass, and and, and, a, and, and within time you're gonna see worms coming out of that bitch. Come from the inside, right. motherfucker. From the inside. From the inside. It don't come from the outside. Um, ain't like the apple and the worm. You can see the hole. Right. Meat. That's what I said. Meat. Meat from the inside yeah. comes out maggots. No matter what. Right. Yeah, it's something. No matter what kind of meat. Yeah. Human meat, cow meat, dog meat. And then that maggot is a fly. Interesting that I'm thinking like that. Because remember the movie The Fly? That fucking um, skinny motherfucker who turned into the fly when he was trying to make the teleporting um, thing? And the fly got in and he turned into a fly because he mutated into a fly. That's why I said then flies on top of the food chain because then the fly somehow creates life from them. But they come out of nowhere. Oh, he has a little doggy. They come out of nowhere. Yeah, they're straight out of your stomach. You, you look at the motherfucker and think he's okay and then when you pop it open you see all the worms. That's crazy. Uh, it is. It is. We need to talk about it. Because it's Saturday. I'm used to, like, honestly, during the weekday, there are a lot of people out here. It's really surprising. Oh, so when I went to go get my phone, so I left my phone in a cab, right? Because we had groceries, so I got out of the cab. To grab bags and he grabbed bags and so we're going upstairs so I'm not thinking about my phone. So then within five minutes of being upstairs I realize I don't have it. And so I come out and call me. So he called me and someone picks up. Who's like, oh, oh. Hello? Anyway, he's like, yeah, yeah, I found your phone, but you know, there was no way for me to call anyone, so I'm glad that you called. Long story short, I get an address from her. And I said, I'm, I'm on my way. I'm going to go straight over there right now. We'll go pick it up. She was like, okay, we're going to be here for a while. Don't worry. So I take a move. I go to this part. It's near, I would say it's in between. <coughs> so it's a very nice area. 
I like the houses were really nice. I'm just in the house. So I get my phone, I bank her or whatever. We're trying to figure out our way back. So we had to walk on the beach because it was a dead end. So I was like, yeah, no worries. We'll walk on the beach and I know which way Condado is so, and we'll figure it out. So we're walking in this neighborhood. We finally get off the beach because we finally see like an exit. Because a lot of these places are private and you have to have a, a key or a fob to get in. Sometimes you can't because so the like water, a, the water reaches all the way up and you can't even cross some places. Right, well, this was a big beach. It was just finding like a, a regular public entryway that didn't require a key or a fob. Or so I found one. So we start walking through. Dude, this was a very swanky ass little neighborhood. Mm. I had no idea this shit even existed. Mm -hmm. As as nice as where I'm at is, this was on a different scale. I don't know. This is different. So we're walking, and my husband tells me later, he was like, wow, that was a very strange experience because he was like, I can see people looking at us like, what are you doing? <laughs> right? Especially him, if he's not just, right? And it was all these like, white people, basically. Not even white Puerto Ricans, it was white people. So I got so angry, like, just, just, just hearing that. But it's like, I wish somebody would tell me something about why I am in a particular area on my fucking island. Don't tell me this. I, I was like, I wish somebody would come to me and ask me why I'm here. Please ask me. Dude, remember, you got Chinese that speak Spanish better than you. Yeah, I don't give a shit. On that if island. If you're a gringo, if you're a gringo. No. And you're here, just taking advantage of shit. Be asking me why. I'm okay. Here. All right. Some of those gringo have been on that island from before they were born. Yeah. No. 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 These are people that that you can tell they don't speak any Spanish. Oh no, them don't they have no right. They only speak rights. English. Yeah. These are these are like businessmen. That's just, like this. This is the level of swanky that I'm talking about. This is not just like oh, you know, people with some money. These are these are like CEO type of people. This is where they live. Because when we finally got through to the end of the block, at the end of the block there was um, like a guard and, and you had to come through with a car and you had to walk through with a gated entry and it's just that it was open so we were able to get out. And I was like, I was so y'all went in and went out like a crook can do. <laughs> do that shit. We thank goodness we found our way out quickly, but... Yeah, they probably go send somebody after your asses too. No. So swanky means. I understood what the swanky means now. I never. I didn't know what swanky meant. I guess. You got bad neighborhoods right in front of you, all down Condado and Isla Verde. Yeah, you can see it when you when in the cab when I when we come up. Yeah, one side, the right side, depending which way you're going, one side will be the buildings, pretty. Uh -huh. And then the opposite side, it's not. Right, it's like the Torres project. Whatever. That's the Yoren Torres. That's one of the biggest projects out there. Yeah, we, we, we pass it every time we... Yeah, because it's right on fucking um, Isla Verde, bro. It's right there. Some yeah, and it has a big wall around that motherfucker, so you got to go around it. You can't like really go through it. Well, yeah, because it's all caged up. It's terrible. And then right where you got um, San Juan, where the Capitolio is, right below it, you got a very rough area, bro. La Pella. Well, right above it is where all the fucking politicians are. And right below it is the roughest area on Puerto Rico. There's people been in there and never came back out. It's only one way in, in a car. Right. Yeah, you got to go down that one slope. And there's people watching you the whole entire time and, and communicating with the inside the whole entire time. Yeah, that's La Pella. La Pella is not easy. I've been in there before. Once. 
Um, I know motherfuckers from all over the island, but I've been in there. Yeah, and they'll kill you right in there and throw you in the ocean, because that's what's after that. After La Pella, you got the ocean. There's nothing else. It's the ocean is there. That's their backyard. They throw you, it's gonna hurt. They're gonna hurt, you're gonna get eaten. You're gonna get hurt. You're gonna get that's, eaten. That's, that's, that's after your bones are broken by all the rocks on the bottom. Man, them guys are no Puerto Rico. It's a dangerous place and one of the most beautiful places in there is around the rough areas. Literally. Because you got Santuce, you got Bayamon, yeah, you got Caguas. All of them is rough areas. Me? Yeah, I'm from Canoanas, bro. I was born in San Juan. Everybody said they're born in San Juan. But I'm from Canoanas. My mom and my mom's house is in Canoanas. The place I grew up was in Canoanas. Yeah. My dad is from Umacao. Where? Umacao. Over there by Fajardo. Oh, okay. And then yeah. where I am, where I hung out when I was an adult, when I went back, I hung out in Caguas. Yeah, and Gautier Benitez, one of the rough projects of Caguas, if it ain't the right. roughest one. Um, and then when I got out of jail, I went right next door to Bayamon. It was a little bit quieter, but it's still the same shit. So Caguas and Bayamon are connected, basically. And then that's how that story goes. But Canova Nas is right next to San Juan, by Car Carolina's in between and San Juan. You're not far from okay. Canovanas. You're like 30 minutes away. Okay. Yeah. Because we everybody flew out of the same airport. Because uh, you got Luquillo, it's after Canovanas. Then um, you got Rio Grande. Then Fajardo. Fajardo, Seba. Seba, yeah. Seba, I've been in most people. In, yeah, but then Umacao. And then if you keep going around, you reach the Ponce, which is the other corner. And then you shoot down the backside. I've been in Ponce in prison. <laughs> I've been in Bayamon in prison too. Um, Salsal is in El Junque. So that's in between Rio Grande area. And most of my time I spend it in, in, in San Juan, in Presidio. Presidio don't exist anymore. They tore it down. That's how old it was. A really old building, all that shit to tore it down. So yeah, the place I was in prison, I did. I don't even exist anymore. And then tell me that I'm not old. Yeah, I'm fucking old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're tearing down the prison that you lived in for eleven fucking years. That's how old that prison was supposed to be tore down while you was there. They should have been tearing it down, but it took them so long to tear it down. And that was just the other day, bro. So my, yeah, I can't even go back to where I was. A lot of them has been torn down. So that's sad in a way when I look at that. Yeah, I got all the videos that they made of that prison while it was closed before they tore it down. Yeah, because it's a dude telling a story. I know that dude. I've eaten with that dude. I've shook his hand. We've been in meetings together. Um, but he's, tell, he's telling the story. He was in jail before I was in jail. I got out, and he was still in jail, and he finally got out. And he... Yeah, he was there for all of the wars. Oh, wow. Because he was there from before there was an association yet. Uh. And... The association got tore up by Sawel Boy and he was still in there. So he went through the whole thing. And he knew both of the leaders that were enemies that started the whole shit. He was friends with both of them. So that's basically how he ended up surviving. He tells the whole entire, he, told, he tells the story how Carlos got shot in the head while in prison with a gun and how it wow. happened. Yeah. He got shot and stabbed to death in the middle of the prison. Wow. And none of his people helped him. Damn. Yeah, so there's a story there. About, no, obvious. Yeah. 
that most people don't understand. He died for a cause. This man died for a cause that literally turned his back on him and then somehow flipped it back around after he after he died. You got muffled. That turned into what? It's. I know I'm gonna go kill. They're coming to kill me. And I have a following of a hundred thousand. And you know they're coming to kill me, and you just sit there and watch. Right. Now that I'm dead, you put my name up front, and you um, and you worship it after I'm dead. But while I was alive, you didn't do it. So no one helped him. Why? Because he afraid the chicken out. They didn't have oh, the babia. Wow. Yeah, they didn't, that many of them. they didn't have the courage. You remember, wow. 19 prisons are run by one group, and the other groups got the rest for them. So it's 23 prisons, and you run in 19, you only got four left. So then you got one for the 27, one for the 25, one for the 31s, and one for the people who can't live in either one of them. That's what's left. That's how it went down. That's the, all the prisons in Puerto Rico. But the bigger part is actually the weaker part, if you really think about it hard. The 27s are people who don't give a fuck. 25s running just... They got a little bit of rules, but they do about the same amount of crime. They don't give a fuck if they got to fuck a baby. They don't give a fuck if they got to beat up the grandma. They don't give a shit if they got to burn down a school or a church. They got no ethics. They label crime as crime. You know how the Bible say, it doesn't matter if it's this or that. It's still a sin. <laughs> so who is right and who? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter the degree. Right. It it's still a sin. So in other words, so then... Who is actually on the right side of the deck? Uh, is it the smallest group or is it the largest group? Who are truly the ones with courage? Is it the smallest group or is it the largest group? So it makes you really think now that you're old. And if you look at the social strong like that, well, then the social strong is the government. And it's run my way or run no way. Yeah, because that's how it was, really. Um, you didn't have... Um, if there wasn't, I couldn't choose not to be a nieta. Right. You don't choose to be a nieta. Because the big, the, okay, it's like if you have a bunch of fish and you throw them in a fish bowl, they don't choose to be there, right? Some of them are going to get beaten. Some of them are going to run to a corner and stay in a little cave and make his own little dwelling area. Majority are not going to be swimming around. Only the bigger guys. So, who is the bully? <laughs> is it the Nietas or is it the uh, the four groups that are um, hanging out by themselves, basically? Yeah. So, it's, it's, yeah. So, I don't know which group I would, I don't know. You don't have a choice. The only way you get expelled out of the, uh, out of the association, it's like, they're the first people you meet. Wow. You don't meet the 25s first or the 27s or the, uh, or the 31s. or you, They don't put you in protective custody first off. You meet population. And population, how I was explaining, is the 19 prisons. So in either one right. of them, where you fall in, you're in population, bro. And you don't get to choose to be with the 27s. Unless you already knew something about the 27s, you would choose to be with them. Or any other, you know, but a person who don't have no knowledge ever been in jail, they don't get a choice. No, you you get ran through their protocol, and then you learn their protocol. You're not they're not teaching you about the other guys. So then you're stuck in the association. Yeah. So that's how the government does. So there's no such thing as saying, I'm not interested. Right. Because before you can say that, they're giving you interest to think about. It's like a salesman knocking at your door and you can't tell right. him no. 
Right. Yeah, and he don't have a gun. And it's he, like you could say no, but it wouldn't be preferable for you. Yeah, right. But he's not yeah, even I telling you that. Well, yeah, he no, well, he, yeah, no, he yeah, is. He no, I, I take it back. He's telling you that. He does describe the other groups as a bad place. Right. Yeah. And then he lets you paint that picture in your mind. So then you keep mm-hmm. listening and he carries. Like, yeah, you, you got free will. You can go either direction. This is what's safe for you. Yeah. Basically, that's a threat. But, mm-hmm. and it's bullying, right? Today. Yeah. Yeah. It's in mind, a very nice way. It's mind fucking yeah. and it's uh, mind controlling, manipulation and all that and, good and, shit. And, and you're filling in all the blanks. <laughs> okay, so that's why they down talk it when you look at it. When you go to the fucking web and you look up Asociación Nieta, they make it a gang. They say, <laughs> and I guess it is. Well, I guess that's the no choice part. <laughs> but, but besides that, it seems to be a very well run government. It is. It don't have the flaws that the. You know what you know as government is, because when you think of right. government, anybody you say, "Oh, the government, ah, oh, they're motherfucking thieves." Um, right. Well, you don't right. have that because that's one of the rules. You can't steal, mm-hmm. and they will hold, and anybody could hold you accountable. And in right. there, in there is, you can actually see the books. You can sit down and go look at the books. It's a, there is a book with all the numbers in it of what's being used and spent and um, bought and. Losses and all that good shit is in the book. And you just got to go to the treasurer. It's, yeah, not the sec- you got a secretary of state, basically. You got the president. You got the second uh, vice president. And everybody goes to a, uh, how do you say fiscalization? I think I asked you that before. Fiscalizar is to, um, I call it an interrogation, bro. Um, because Everybody goes through it. It ain't no soul that don't go through that whole process. And that's all the leaders, all the cabinet is in a room, like 20-something motherfuckers. And you walk in and you're the only one that don't know what's going on. And there's a, a guy who's like a bouncer and he's telling you to be quiet, don't speak out of turn, listen to this guy, don't say nothing, don't move. If you move, I'm going to slap you right here in your chest. Right. <laughs> he said it all in one breath like that, and from there on, he get he tells the other guy, "God, didn't it be so?" And then the first of the floor will start talking to you, and you just right. better answer. You, you can only answer right. yes or no. You don't have right. that other right. shit to explain. We're not. We're not. We're not, we're not blabbing. We're no. Okay. The first time you get off course, that guy who just told you if you do anything about he just told you not to do, he's gonna hit you. He just, he's, he's gonna hit to you. Up. Yeah, then guys got a signal set up. Everybody does it differently, but they got an internal setup that when the first of the floor looks at him in a certain way or will move his hands, he knows when to hit you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he'll hit you as many times as that signal is done, and it ain't personal. Wow. He's going to tell you it ain't personal if you pass the test. He's going to tell right. you it's not personal, and then you're going to understand that it's not personal. That's his job. Yeah, and you learn how to keep your emotions in a way, I guess, from the beginning. That part, right. yeah, the program you really, really to the T. Like not taking first. And it's not, it's, Hello. but they use it. on the right side of it or the wrong side? But the whole time it's fear that they're using. Yeah, remember, they're trying to get you to say to them that you will give your life if anything you say is not what you say, that's the only way in. And they can't tell you that. So you got to figure it out while you're standing there. They're going to ask you, what can you give me? The most valuable thing that you can give me right now is your word. So if you give your word, you give your life. The two work together. Yeah. Yeah. That if you fail, well, your word. It actually, it actually means something there. Yes, it does. Not like, not like out here. No, that people raise their hand really easy and say, I'm in. No, oh, motherfucker. Yeah, of course. No, are you really in? 
and they're going to put you to a real fuck up test. Like if all of them want to kill you, that's how you're going to feel. Are these motherfuckers really going to take my life right now if I said the wrong thing? And it's all about fear. They laugh about it afterwards. Yeah, and they'll tell you how you looked and all the stuff afterwards. Um, and then you have every once in a blue moon a guy that didn't fit. And then all you hear is, come to the pueblo. <laughs> and every go fucking seller you pass, somebody's going to punch you. And you're going to get punched till that guard comes up here. And the guard don't usually come up until everybody stop punching you. Wow. So you're in a fucked up situation. Damn. Yeah, because the gates in Puerto Rico don't work, so he don't have a button to go ang, ang, and let you in. No, he has to physically come there, unlock a gate, and there's a whole bunch of people beating up on you. So he's not going to risk his life. He'll wait till we back off. And they back off. Somebody will say, okay, okay, okay. But you're going to take a few. And it hurts. Yeah, if you got 15 people, 15 people. 15 they people. Want you to remember that shit. Just look at these numbers. 15 people hitting you for three seconds. That's maybe a punch a second. 15 right. times uh, three seconds is how much? You got what? 45 hits, man. Wow. Yeah. So you know that guy ain't looking good by the time the police gets to him. Damn, that's, that's the quickest beat down ever. Three seconds. Yeah. That's how the punishment is. I got three seconds. Wow. I got. I took three seconds and they broke my ribs. Wow. Yeah. So that's the number. That's about, yeah, about right. And you sit in a bucket. If you fall off the bucket, and that's you being done in a, in a formal matter. That shit that you're getting when they say coming to the Pueblo is not a formal matter. You're not in a bucket. You're running for your life and everybody's trying to hit you. However, when you're in the bucket, when you're in the bucket, they can't kick you until you fall off the bucket. Right. So you hold on to that bucket as hard as you can. Because <laughs> yeah. if it flip over and you fall down, buddy, now they're going to start it's kicking over. you. Yeah, now it's kicks. And it's nothing personal either. Right. It's all that. It's, you, 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 don't, you can't keep a grudge with your brother. That's how it was. Because we are brothers at the end of the day. And it was fair. It, it wasn't like, um, if I want to get you kind of thing, I can get you. Right, it couldn't, right. It didn't work out that way. It wasn't, it wasn't like retaliation. <clears throat> if you fucked up, you know you fucked up. Right, so that's not retaliation. That's no. just a consequence of your action. Yeah. If you blow fuses and do things, well, yeah. And what I did was that I called him a chota out loud. What is that? A snitch, a cockroach, oh. a weasel, oh. a worm. You're oh. no good. And you can't do that if you don't have proof. So if you don't have proof, you can't say that. Because then you just right. gave your life. So yeah, that's how I got the seconds on the bucket just for doing that to him. Um, wow. And he didn't have a choice. But it still hurt. Yeah. It's like, um, I've seen, I've, my worst case that I saw was two brothers sharing a cell. One brother comes out and says, where's my lighter? Somebody stole my lighter. Thing is, his brother woke up before him and took the lighter with him. He still got a punishment for stealing. Oh, wow. See, because if I let you go in any way, it's a rule. If you break it, it's broken. You don't right. have an excuse. Okay. So the there only no, thing... There are no circumstances. The only thing they're focusing on if you broke the rule. So Big Brother right. can't say that Little Brother now didn't steal it. He already said somebody stole my lighter. Right. So that means he don't know the whereabouts of his lighter. He can't fix that. Wow. There's no way to fix that. You can't say, oh, my brother had it, because then somebody else could get away when something is really stolen. Right. <laughs> wow. So it can't. And it's not all that other shit. It's just plain out. You don't, you, you done yelled out, so you stuck. But you 
know in a sense. I don't know why that might be like Judaism. So I told you in Judaism, like the real Orthodox, they have laws to protect you from breaking laws, uh. from offense laws. That's what that sounds like. Like it doesn't matter what the circumstance is. We're making this a law so that you wouldn't even do it to take care of somebody's shit. But no matter what, you're not going to do it because the consequence is the same no matter what the reason. So to so accuse... It's like a law. Yeah, and, and, and you can accuse motherfuckers, but when you come in and accuse, you got to be right. Right. If you come wrong... Ooh. Yeah, so like, let's say, let's say you forgot where you put it, and then you accuse somebody of stealing it. Then what happens? You are going to get beat up. Then someone's like, look, it's right here under your mattress, asshole. You're going to get beat up. Because you, wow. you almost got somebody else beat up for you being careless. Right. It's all about right. the cues, and you can't, it makes you really think when you're going to go say something about somebody. Right. So in other words, the gossip don't exist. If I'm oh, coming, man. see. I love that, though. Honestly, like, I, 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 I like it. I mean, I know it's kind of rough, but. I don't know. It's fair. I, I, I appreciate that. That's why I was complaining to the weed man. Hey, I told him, what's snitching for you? Snitching for you is when you tell on somebody. It ain't just that, bro. If you're in the community and you steal and your brother holds you accountable, it's accountability. So you don't steal in the community. Right. And if you don't hold another motherfucker accountable, well, then you know when it's just going to come up stolen all the time. And you know that you know who it is, and then you're stuck to try to say it. Because now when you say it, right. you're just as wrong as he is, motherfucker. Right, right, because now you just admitted that you knew all along. All along. <laughs> so you're going to get exactly what he got exactly. Right, because you allowed him to continue doing what he's doing because you didn't say nothing. Yeah, remember, I got three seconds. Those minutes go all the way up to 15 seconds in a punishment. That's the max. Oh. Yeah, there's people who oh have there's people who have died in a in a fifteen second beat up. Yeah, I guess so. Longest no. fifteen seconds of your life. And then the worst thing in prison is that they're gonna try to cover up, so then you end up in a fucking trash can. They don't chop you up. Right. When they fuck you up, like if you get beat up in a sanction and you die, you're not they're not gonna they're gonna let you go out the prison. You're gonna get wow. put in the garbage can. But if you like. Yeah, they've been raping kids and you end up with us. You're not going to come out the prison. You're going to get flushed down the toilet. Right, right. Like that. Example. So it's a different. And with your brothers, you're never supposed to kill your brother. You're supposed to sanction your brother. Mm -hmm. So the person who kills someone is also going to get beat up in a way too. Right. Yeah, he's going to get demoted. And the people who are running in the, in the government, their punishment is automatically doubled. Wow. Because you know better. Mm -hmm. So a leader doesn't get off because he's a leader. He gets worse than anybody else. When right, he fucks right. Up. Yeah. Most of them run away because they don't want to go through what that takes. Right. Yeah, because they're not, they're not tough like that. Yeah, they will convert to a 25 or 31 or a 27 or they they'll, will live. They'll do whatever it takes. Yeah, or they will live in protective custody for the rest of the sentence when they fuck up. They uh -huh. usually run away. It's very few. Okay. Yeah, well, three times it went wrong when two leaders didn't want to step down either one, and that's when the guns came out. Uh -huh. But most of the leaders I've seen is either that happens and it becomes a war. And the whole Pueblo divides, the population goes, splits in two sides. Wow. Yeah. And it stays like that for a couple of weeks until other leaders get involved. Huh. Yeah, and that's... Then what? And then you're going to go with whatever the other leaders say. You ain't going to be able to make the decision within. It, it is divided. So the only way to unite that is from a higher power. So then the 19 prisons will unite against that one. So it'll be the 18 against the one. And then they're going to communicate that out how it's going to work out. And whatever order comes right. down is the law. Right. You can't, right, right. You can't confront it. Yeah, you don't get a right. chance to confront that. Yeah, there's, there's no appeal. <laughs> no, that shit is written in stone. If you got to step down, if it, whoever it is got to step down. 
And it happened once that the guy didn't, still didn't want to step down, and then it got really bad. And then he got taken. <laughs> yeah, it got really bad. The guns didn't fire off. They just killed him. And stuck him in the garbage can also. Okie doke. Let me go in here because I had that one talking loud because she don't know I can hear her outside, so I'm going to let her know. You need to hold it down, bro. The bees are hearing you. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right, you have a good one. All right, bye. Bye.